good morning. Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the divine word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass, as shown on the screen.
A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the most sacred heart of Jesus. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alfredo Rolion Jr., SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. Let us kneel down and thank Him for all that He's done, for all of the blessings in our lives. Come, let us sing, let us pray. open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, sinners and saints. <laughs> Ganun tayo sa harap ng Diyos. We are sinners and saints before God and this holy celebration, this Eucharist, is a beautiful illustration of what we will have in the Gospel reading for today. Where Jesus was asked why He was with the sinners, why He was dining, eating with tax collectors and prostitutes. And we, in front of the Lord, are sinners. But Jesus is offering Himself for us. Jesus is making himself present. And here we are asking the Lord to allow us to become worthy partakers of the sacrament. That is why we ask for forgiveness as we prepare our hearts. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words. words in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one whom you love, and go to the land of Maria. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac and two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut from the burnt offering, set out for the place 
of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go on over yonder. He will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders while he himself carried the fire and the knife as the two walked on together. Isaac spoke to his father Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of God, which had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up, a burnt offering in the place of his son. Abraham named the site Yehovive. Hence people now say, On the mountain of the Lord will I see. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did is not withholding from me your beloved son. I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, and Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right who do all, always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the posterity of your chosen one. Rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your inheritance. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, one afternoon I was watching a concert in the YouTube. A concert by a group called Peter, Paul, and Mary. And they have many famous songs. Uh, either they wrote or interpreted or, or sang like Puff the Magic Dragon, 500 Miles, Living on a Jet Plane. And then there's one song that caught my attention because it was my first time to hear that song. The song is called The Right Field. No, right Field. Referring to a place in a baseball field. It's the right field, and I said I would just paraphrase the, the lyrics, but maybe to give justice to it, I'll just read to you the part that is related somehow to my homily. It says, Saturday summers, when I was a kid, we'd run to the schoolyard, and here's what we did. We'd pick out the captains, and we'd choose up the teams. It was always a measure of my self-esteem. Cause the fastest, the strongest, played shortstop and first. The last ones they picked were the worst. I never needed to ask, it was sealed. I just look up my place in right field. Siguro pwede natin ikumpare yan sa mga larong pambata natin. Na kung saan, no? Your faith will be sealed kung saan ka mapapalagay. Pag ikaw ay medyo magaling, malakas, ay ikaw dyan sa mga front part, front lines, or important position. Pag medyo mahina ka, pag medyo sipunin ka, <laughs> at saka mihi ka, ay doon ka na lang sa medyo lugar na hindi masyadong inaabot ng bola. Kumbaga, o kaya pinupuntahan ng, ng kalaban, kung habulan, kung amagan. Meron na kaming laro amagan. No? Here, ganun siya. Na it was a measure of my self-esteem. My, my faith is sealed. Alam ko na kung saan ako mapapalagay doon sa position where nobody desires kasi wala namang nangyayari. Sabi nga doon, the whole game, he was just watching the dandelions grow. And life is like that. A reality that we are facing, that we divide people and categorize them to strong and weak, intelligent, not so intelligent, beautiful and not so beautiful, powerful, not so powerful, rich, poor, man, women, queer, lesbian, gay. And then somehow in our mind, we give positions to people. Ito lang ang pwede nilang gawin. Ito lang ang pwede kong gawin. Ito lang ang ibibigay na oportunidad para sa akin. At pagdating sa pananampalataya, when it comes to the faith and belief in God, there are times that people were also categorized. Look at what happened in the Gospel of today when they questioned Jesus. Why he was eating with tax collectors and sinners. And not only that, Jesus called a tax collector to be one of his apostles. A very important place, a very um, 
important part no in this uh, mission of Jesus and he called Matthew and people are of course angry with with tax collectors including Matthew the claims that they are serving you know the conqueror government that they have the Romans and here comes Jesus kaya nga hindi lang miracle or miracles ang ginagawa ng Panginoon ang ipinapakita sa atin but Jesus is giving us lessons in life about opportunities about equalities about having a chance to be with him to receive him in the introduction i did i said well welcome saints and sinners because that is our reality that in the face of god we are saints and sinners alike but the most important here is what jesus is showing us that in his heart yes we are sinners and we are saints but all of us have this opportunity to be with him to belong to him sa reality ng buhay tatanggap lahat ng tinapay ng katawan at dugo hindi yung oh sinner ka kalahati lang kapiraso lang <laughs> Ang dami mong kasalanan. <laughs> Hindi kita gusto. Oh, kapirasong tinapay lang. May kasalanan na ka sa akin. Oh, huwag ka na munang tumanggap. Bariya lang ibibigay ko sa iyo. <laughs> Sorry po pero <laughs> Ayan, very recent lang ano? How we measure people. Bariya ka lang. Ito ang you deserve this in spite of what you did for me. But for Jesus, He gave His life for all. Buong-buo na ibinigay ng Panginoon ang kanyang buhay. That is why when He said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, ay may kabuluhan. No? Madaling maunawaan. Because He Himself saw us while we are sinners, while we are weak, while we are having that little faith in Him. Kasi with Him, lalakas ang pananampalataya. With Him, we will realize that we are loved. And you know, look what happened to Matthew when he was changed by Jesus. And that is why I said, maybe it's nice to continue the the, the parts of this song that I have used as an illustration. So, sa later part of the song, it says there that then suddenly everyone's looking at me. My mind has been wondering what could it be? They point at the sky and I look up above and a baseball falls into my glove. Suddenly, he became happy. He became proud of his position in the right field when a chance was given to him and a ball flying towards him and he caught it with his glove. Matthew was given a chance and he proved that Jesus is right by giving chances to those whom others are not giving chances. Those whom others see as hopeless and may it be true to us as God welcomes us into his banquet let us also welcome others into our lives whether they are saints or sinners amen Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit and aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father and say, Divine Physician, hear us. Divine Physician, hear us. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. We pray. 
divine physician, hear us. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. We pray. Divine physician, hear us. That in this Eucharistic offering we may experience God's healing mercy. We pray. Divine, Divine physician, physician, hear, hear us. us. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are living sinful lives. We pray. Divine Physician, hear us. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal, physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially, and spiritually. May we not give in to fear or panic. May we be agents of love and service to those in need during this pandemic. We pray. Divine Physician, hear us that the dead may experience the saving power of God. We pray. Divine, Divine physician, physician, hear us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our special intentions. We pray. Divine physician, hear us. And may I include in this Mass, you know, the healing of a classmate. Classmate ko po dito dati sa seminary, uh, si Kuya Joel, a, a brother also to me, you know, he is now in the hospital. So we pray for his healing and for the soul of Gori Pabalan, you know, a beloved Lola. So we also pray for the eternal repose of her soul. Father, with the faith of Abraham who followed your call, your Christian people bring their prayers to you. Grant what you inspire us to ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. friends may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church O God who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries grant we pray 
that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesta, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as at the dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Pilgrim people, we are the Church of God, a family of believers, disciples of the Lord, united in one spirit, ignited by the fire, still burning through the Present in our lives, now, Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and help. in our lives Amen.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the, the fear of sickness, sickness and death, restore our, our hope and strengthen, and strengthen our faith. We pray, pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank, thank you for, for the vaccines developed, made, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end, end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. world. We, we pray for our health workers, that, that they may minister to the sick with competence, with competence and compassion. Grant, grant them health, health in mind and body, and body strength in their, their commitment, protection, protection from, from the disease. We pray, we pray for, for those afflicted. afflicted. May, may they be restored to health. health. Protect those, those who care for them. them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give, Give us the grace in these trying, trying times to work, work for the good of all and to and help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calonsod, Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renademis, Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the love and mercy of God. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God.